Chennai's public art has been monopolized by political and film posters. This is slowly set to change with the entry of graffiti as a public art form. Thuvakam, an NGO known as the Midnight Cleaners, has been involved in cleaning up specific areas at midnight, removing posters, painting bus stops, graffiti on walls with social messages. And so is T3K, a graffiti crew in the city who have been trying to beautify the city with their art. Smita TK speaks to these spirited citizens. Chennai's walls speak the language of politics, capture the glitz of Hollywood, and even give you quirky cures for diseases. Volunteers in the city have taken it upon themselves and spend hours of their time cleaning up defaced walls of political posters and paintings. Come election time, and this poster madness will go into a frenzy. So much so that schools, colleges, and even private compounds are not spared. Today we have with us a resident of uh, Gopalapuram who's here to tell us about this menace. No, as a resident, first thing is my own compound wall is being defaced. That's the first thing. And secondly, what happens is stray cattle on the street. This guy is not getting anything to eat. It is these posters. So we are killing another, another this thing, creature because that, that animal gets killed because it is taking some waste which it is not supposed to eat. Nobody is there to tell that stray cattle don't eat that. We also have with us Mr. Ramaswamy who has filed a number of public interest litigation in this regard. So, so uh, tell, tell us how your anti-poster uh, campaign has been so far. I'm really very happy to see the NDT has taken a major job in seeing a clean city. I'm very happy with the NGOs. They do well. I came to know that some time back in the night time on Mailapur Bujha somewhere, they have been attacked by them while they're painting it. These things are all there. Unless those who claim as leaders of the country must obey their law. We have with us Mr. Raj Cherubal, who works closely with the Chennai Corporation. Uh, sir, what is it that is causing a lag in implementation of this sort from the side of the local body? Obviously, like, like others I was talking about, there has to be strengthening of uh, implementation. So, for example, if somebody sticks a poster, there has to be a very simple process by which you call the person, find them, and make, make sure it's, it's expensive for them to put posters, deface the wall. And, for example, if you stick a poster on my wall, I should be able to take you to court and get compensation for uh, painting my wall. Yeah? So, it's my wall. I mean, you can't simply come and it's like I'm pouring you know, garbage on my head. It's my head. You can't do that without my permission. While political figures still dominate the city's street, street art, which goes back to graffiti, seems to be taking over. Now, this typically involves paint jobs at night, usually without the permission of local officials or property owners. Here we have uh, a similar NGO, Tuvakam, uh, and uh, Mr. Sudarshan is here to talk to us about uh, their, uh, their most popular campaign, Clean Up After Dark. Clean Up After Dark, it was like we first decided to clean up during the day, but we had many problems. People started us asking what is this, what we are doing. So we decided to do during night. We got permission from Chennai Corporation and then we started doing at night. So the, from the next day, people who uh, started seeing their clean places, they stopped pasting their posters. The people from Mailapur residents all started wishing us uh, through uh, Facebook and uh, some social websites. We also have with us members of the Third Kind Graffiti Crew who say that they've been busted a number of times, but their work seems to be beautifying the city rather than defacing it. Uh, Veera, could you please tell us about how Chennai is slowly embracing this art form? I don't think Chennai has embraced this art form fully, but people are slowly accepting the art form because it's like refreshing to the eyes. Movie actors, political leaders, mythological symbols, gods, goddesses, everyone's made their appearance on Chennai's walls. But very soon, the landscape is going to change. Serene hills, silent lakes, juxtaposed with the chaos of Mylapore traffic and street vendors of Tinagar will give Chennai's walls the much-needed facelift. In Chennai, with camera person Ravi, Smita TK for NDTV.